everybody, Cindy here. Um, typically we do yoga together, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, many of you know that prior to me being um, a yoga instructor, I was a personal trainer. And so being at home lately has given me some time, a lot of time, to figure out how I can do at home workouts. Um, I've typically been a person that's gone to the gym or to the yoga studio. And since those things have not been available to me, just trying to figure out different ways that I can stay active. So I thought, if I'm feeling this way, maybe some other people are too. So this is just gonna be like a nice, um, I say nice, we'll see, and <laughs> just a nice little um, lower body workout for you. Um, if you have blocks, that's great. Um, don't necessarily have to use them. You may wanna have um, just a small towel or a blanket for some cushion. A uh, strap we'll probably use a little bit for our, um, our cool down, our stretching out. And then if you have some of these little bands, these are really, really nifty to use for some of the movements that, the, that we're gonna be doing. Um, if you don't have them though, it does not matter. You are still gonna be able to get some nice engagement in the lower body. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm first going to show you which each exercise is gonna be, offer a few modifications with it, and then we'll put it all together. Um, so let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead first and make our way to our backs, much like you would with your, um, your bridge in your yoga practice. And this is one of those times that if you want to use one of your bands, you can. And you would just place that above your knees. So giving a little bit of um, resistance here for the, the quads, the thighs. Arms down by the side, pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Pressing the feet into the ground and then just lifting up into our bridge. And typically in our yoga practice, we don't talk about squeezing or engaging the glutes. But in this case, that's something that we want to do. So as we press up, hold, give a nice little squeeze, and then slowly lower down. So we'll repeat that for a number of repetitions once we get started. So we'll move on from that and go directly into our clams. Um, you may want to have a blanket under your forearm, just depends on how you feel with them, um, if you're on a mat or just on the floor or the carpet. But again, another great place to use this strap. The heels are together, knees are together. Again, pulling the belly button in, lengthening through the spine, and then opening up that top thigh, and then releasing. And then back up. And down. So we're gonna move on from that and take the strap off. And then we're gonna to come to a standing position. And so our standing position, we're about hips distance apart. And a lot of this is gonna depend on your knees, your mobility, your flexibility. Um, obviously listening to your body, but also challenging your body. So you can just do typical, like regular little squats, maybe not going down quite as deep, depending on, again, the knees or maybe finding a goblet squat where the elbows will actually come to the inside of the knees and then press back up. This time though, when we come up, we lift up on our toes, lower, squat, lift, squat. Okay. So moving on from there, this is another spot. If you have your blocks, they're helpful. We're gonna do a modification of like a curtsy squat. I like to use blocks because my knees are not the best and it gives me that little bit of support. So hands to the blocks, maybe pressing in and then step to the side as the right knee bends and then coming back up, let the left foot hover and then lower back back to center, hover, and then back up. So obviously we'll do that repetition on the other side, but for now, 
just to give you the idea of where we're going. So make your way back to your mat. So just find that tabletop position. So in our tabletop, we know the fingers spread nice and wide, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, the belly pulls in. And then just donkey kicks. You've probably seen or done these before. So again, though, that foot of the lifted leg is active, pressing towards the sky. So we'll press up. Again, if you need to come down to the forearms, that's fine. And then here we're gonna do our reps and then pause. Bring the opposite arm out and then knee to nose. Get in a little core work here and release. And knee to nose, release. So again, we'll do that on both sides. And for our last move, we're gonna take our blocks. And again, if you don't have a block, that's fine. Maybe a blanket, a bolster. I like to have something under my elbow. So again, finding that somewhat comfortable spot on the elbow. to the block. Knee comes in. And then we'll finish up. And move on to the other side. So that's the little routine, the little rotation. So we're going to go through it together. Um, and then I will ask that you pause the video and you can go through it a couple more times. And then we'll come back and do a, um, some stretching out of the lower back and the legs. Sounds good? All right. So let's get started. So again, finding your strap, if that's what you would like to have. Starting with our bridges. Oh, and you may notice that I'm wearing these little skitty sock things. You can do socks. Well, I would do skid proof because I don't want you to fall. Um, you can do something like this. You can do barefoot or you can do tennis shoes. I'm here in the studio. I try not to wear shoes in here at all. So skiddy socks for me. So again, finding that strap. Arms down by our sides. And we're going to go for 15 here, okay? So squeezing up and lower. Up, lower. Squeezing the glutes, lowering with control, keeping the belly pulled in. And we still want to remember the breath. Five more. Then y'all may be counting along at home going, wait, we are already there. Y'all know I can't count. <laughs> and especially doing something on video and trying to talk through this. I know my limitations. Two more, okay? Perfect, roll up. And then coming to the side for your clams. Again, go ahead, find that engagement. We do want to move through this at a good pace, not taking a lot of time in between. Getting the heart rate up. Five 
five more. Three, two, one. Great. Other side. So moving right into that, getting position, knees together, heels together, point up. And just like in yoga, each side will feel a little different. Maybe getting that sensation through this outside of the hip. I did seriously lose count. Sorry, five, four, three, two, one. That sounds about right, huh? <laughs> and then so coming to all fours, and you can leave the strap around your knees if you have one there. We're just going to take a few rounds of cat cow here. So pressing in and an inhale, belly lowers, heart comes forward. Exhale, press it away, cat back stretch. Lower to cow. Press to cat. One more round. Neutral spine, walk the hands forward, roll the shoulders back, pull the belly in, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out your dog here. And then inhale, come up high on the toes, tiptoe. Letting the hands and feet come together, bending the knees if you need to, folding forward. Shake it out here a bit. And hands to shin, half lift, stretching the lower back, the hamstrings, lifting the heart, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Big inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So a little bit of yoga there for us. So we'll come off of our mats, where you can stay on your mat. Removing this strap, if you had one. And we're gonna set up for our squat, so either just squatting to what's comfortable for you or a bit deeper. You may go even deeper than me. Um, you just have to be mindful of your knees. So belly pulls in, feet planted into the ground, lower down, press up, up on the toes, lower. Squat, toes, squat, toes, Squat, toes, so just follow along. Two, one, hold. Slowly come up and then lift up on the toes. Shake it out. 
find your blocks for our curtsy lunges. So again, he's setting up hands can rest on the blocks and maybe you don't need blocks, that's fine. I like to do it with the blocks, gives me a little more support. So bending in the front leg, stepping to the side and lift. center, shake it out if you need to, moving on. We know that each side will feel different. Honor that, listen to your body. Five more. Shake it down, fold forward, half lift, exhale fold, inhale half lift, sweep the arms up, hands to heart center, making our way back to our mat. Finding that tabletop position. So again, fingers spread, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, belly pulls in. Now, if it gets to be too much on your hands, you can come down to forearms for this, but I know y'all are strong. You got this. So pressing in, we're gonna start with that right leg. Press up. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Left hand goes out. Right leg extends. We're lengthening. Inhale, curl the spine and reach. Four. Three, two, one, hold, left hand goes down and then just tap the right foot. So five, four, three, two, one, back to center. Wiggle the hips from side to side. Back to table, left side, press up, five, four, three, two, one, hold, right arm goes out, leg extends, nice long extension, and then curl, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and then tap, Bring the knee back. Maybe shift back to child's pose. And 
And then begin to float forward, let the hips come to the ground, swan. Or actually into like cobra. And then exhale back. Inhale, float forward. Exhale back. One more time. And child's pose. Walk the hands back up and then come back to your mat, center of your mat. Finding your blocks. So this is great to strengthen the outer part of the leg, that midsection. So find the forearm. I just have to kind of wiggle myself around on this one. And then come up. And you can use this hand for balance if you need or would like. But 10, 9, 8. Four more. Three, two, one. And then lower down. Press up, downward facing dog. Hold here for a couple of breaths, or go ahead and float forward to plank. Lower to the knees and then lower all the way down. Press back up to seat it, because we get to do the other side now. We all have that side that's less than wonderful. This is my less than wonderful side, so I will try not to fall. So again, setting up. Make sure I'm still on the camera, hopefully. If not, y'all got the idea anyhow. Press up. So 10, nine, eight, five, Four, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> and then come to seat it. So I'm going to sit here and wait on you guys. I'm going to have a sip of water. And y'all are going to run through this a few more times. So pause the video. And then when you come back, we'll release the lower back. Okay? See you in a minute. All right, so you're back. How does that feel? How many rounds did you guys do? Three, four, five, ten. Wow, awesome. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just um, stretch out the lower body a bit. So we will sit up nice and tall. And bring the right foot in to the inside of the left leg. I just sit up nice and tall, big breath in. On the exhale, just a nice little hinge forward. Taking as much or as little as you need here. Let the head hang heavy. And walk the hands up. Switch legs. Nice 
and tall. Big breath in. Exhale, fold. soles of the feet together and totally up to you where you go with this which all of this is totally up to you where you go with it so maybe you just want to sit upright because for me right now that feels good just kind of letting the chest open allowing the shoulders to roll back but this might not feel nice for you maybe you're just just itching to fold forward and if that's the case, go right ahead. I'm gonna stay up right there for a few breaths. Release the hands, bring the legs in both legs come out in front of you and then just folding forward maybe reaching for the feet maybe just keeping the palms next to you head hangs heavy though back up and then making your way to your back if you have your block with you you can bring that hug both knees in to the chest maybe a little rocking action massage the spine a bit and bring both feet down to the earth let this right ankle cross over the left knee and then gently lifting up the foot. So finding the back of the left thigh, opening up the legs here with the hips, releasing them a bit. You can use the hands to bring that thigh closer to the body and using the elbow to press away the right thigh. Again, whatever amount of sensation that you are looking for. You've done the work already, so this is just that moment to kind of unwind and release. Go ahead, lower that left foot down. Right hand takes the inside of the right foot half happy baby. If you want to extend out that left leg, that's fine, or keep it bent. And then bring both knees back in, a little hug, and we'll switch sides. Right leg down on the ground, left leg crosses over, thread the needle, and then again, finding that sensation that works for you. Maybe pulling in a bit closer. And then right foot goes down, left hand to the inside of the foot, half happy baby. And both knees come in, give them a nice squeeze. 
Gonna take the block, lifting up the hips just enough to place the block underneath. And again, up to you, the, the height of the block, maybe the, the medium, well, I guess this is like the lower, yeah. This would be the medium. And then coming all the way up on the higher edge. Um, if you have low back issues, I would not recommend going up on that higher one. So medium is nice because it still lets you kind of open up the chest and then get some of that release through the front part of the body. You gotta be careful here because this feels really, really nice. You may wanna stay here for quite a while, but you know you're home, so you can always just go back to this. But for time's sake, we're gonna have to go ahead and come off of this, sorry. Take the feet as wide as your mat. Let the knees come together. Take some windshield wipers side to side. And then let the knees fall to the left. And the gaze goes towards the right, if that feels okay. Arms can tee out, but if the shoulders are coming off, of the, off the ground, you know, cactus the arms. Again, this is just a feel good release stretch. Knees come back to center. Again, taking a little movement. And then floating to the right, gaze to the left. Same thing with the shoulders. If it's coming off the mat, the arms can cactus. And then back to center. Hug the knees in and options for you. Um, this technically wasn't a yoga practice, but who doesn't love a good Shavasana? So if you'd like to enter into Shavasana, do so. Um, or just go ahead, come back to a seated position, get your bearings straight, um, and uh, just continue with your day. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, just thought it'd be nice to have kind of like a lower body workout that we can do at home. Um, Cause who knows when the gyms are gonna be open and even not, this is still something nice that we have that we can always go to. Um, so again, the, the routine that we went through, I mean, if one round was enough for you to start with, awesome, do one round. Um, ideally you wanna try to work up to maybe four, but again, that's up to you. So. Um, Enjoy the rest of your day, and I uh, hope to see you soon with some more videos, so namaste.